That air out there is yeah. just horrible. Not great. And people yeah. wondering how long is it sticking around? You know, it's not as bad as it was in 2020, um, which is good because that was off <laughs> the charts. That's a high bar. Right, exactly. Oh. But, uh, but it, it will get better as we go into Thursday, especially maybe a little bit of improvement tomorrow, too. Let's take you outside. Here's a look from our Rose City Sky Cam looking out off through the smoky air towards the west across the Willamette River. And it is just hazy out there. It'll make for a good sunset. I guess that's a, a bit of a silver lining, if you will. But yes, um, we got rid of the fog, but we didn't get rid of the smoke. And it's going to be a couple days before we do. 71 right now in Portland. Humidity is at 55%. It's a little humid, of course, with the fog. Made 72 today. You know, that's above average still by like almost 10 degrees. It's just a lot lower than it's been for the last several days. So maybe it felt a little cooler to you today. The Dallas hit 80, had better air quality than we do. 82 in Medford, 60s and 70s, pretty much everywhere else. Here's the fog in the valley. Kind of hung on, burnt off in Clark County last. You can see the smoke from the fires here just adding to the nasty air that we have. And there's really no, nothing, no mechanism that can completely scour this out until we get into Thursday. But here's the model. It gets pushed to the smoke a little bit farther to the west tomorrow. And then as we go into Thursday, you can see this back edge of the smoke. You can see the clearing of smoke to our west coming towards us noontime on Thursday. We still have smoke in the valley, but by six o'clock, five o'clock, six, seven in there, that should all get pushed on out. By the time we wake up on Friday morning, we will be smoke free and have much better air quality once again, like we're used to. But tomorrow morning, that murky mix once again of fog and smoke, just like today, 72 at noontime, then 80 tomorrow. We pick up a little bit, well, quite a bit warmer air because we're going to pick up a little bit of an east wind that should help to mix the smoke and the fog a little bit better and improve our air quality a little. It's still not going to be great, but a little bit better possibly tomorrow. That storm super strong, but headed up to the north won't really impact us. But the ones that come after that out of the Bering Sea will and that rearranges the weather pattern across the northern hemisphere. In the meantime, Thursday will bring some clouds. Here comes the rain Friday. This is 2 o'clock Friday. We're just getting into it at that point. And then it really picks up Friday night. That's when we get the heaviest rain Friday night into early Saturday. I think we'll get some sun breaks over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. But look, there's snow in the Cascades. It's not going to be a huge snowstorm, but it is going to be a snowstorm. Once you get up above five, 6,000 feet, we'll get sticking snow. So tomorrow, the last summer-like day, I don't think a lot of people are too sad about that, but then wet and cool for the weekend. I think there'll be some breaks next week. Here's a little system on Monday and then by Wednesday, another system coming in for more cool and wet weather. So how much rainfall? Well, in the valleys, it doesn't really add up by 1 o'clock, but after that it does. From the time we roll into Saturday, that's about an inch of rain for the valleys and maybe two inches at the Oregon coast. So again, this is going to be a good soaking rain, our first of the fall, really. And you can see the higher amounts up in the Cascades. And speaking of that, how much snow? Now, the models have come back down to reality, I think, from what they were showing us yesterday with incredible amounts. But still, 17 inches or so across the Cascades from Friday, this Friday through next Friday is really quite realistic. And I think we may see that. Outside right now, it is 71 in Portland, freezing level at 12,000. 400 feet. So tonight, generally hazy and clear. Tomorrow, thick morning fog and smoke, and then hazy and sunny and warmer up to 80. Should be the last time this year we do that. 75 on Thursday. Could even be the last time of the year we do that. Then in the 60s on Friday and for the weekend, showers and cool with highs only in the 50s.